Hello everyone, Colin here. I'm just coming to you today with a quick little video um, showing a solution to something that I uh, heard uh, some friends talking about um, having an issue in, around or not having a work around for or a fix for. Um, now, this came from the most recent uh, Ruby for All podcast episode. Our friends uh, Julie and Andrew were having a conversation about debugging and Andrew was talking about a feature of binding.pry that he used to use occasionally that he no longer has the ability to use in binding.irb. So let's uh, go to a little snippet from that episode and hear what he has to say on the subject. The things that I do every day, I can still do in the debug gem, no problem. There is one exception, and that is with pry. <laughs> I'm going to try to explain this, but it's kind of technical. Let's say I open up a Rails console and I say, user equals user dot first. So I save user into a variable. In pry, you can CD, just like changing directories in the file system, you can CD into an object in pry and then be in the context of that object. So where I used to use this a lot is at another place I used to work, we had all these jobs that would then kick off all these interactors. So if I had a bug in a job, I would instantiate the job, save it to a variable, and then I would CD into the job object, which puts me in the context, like almost if I'm in that file. And then I have all the private methods available that I could access. So like, it, like I said, it's hard to explain, but it's easy to watch. It just allows you to change context into different objects. So if you're in your job, but like your interactor has these private methods and that's where the error is occurring, you can CD into that object and then be in that context and have access to those methods. And that anyway. sounds like it would be really useful. Do you have a workaround? No, I do not have a workaround. Hmm. But I do have a workaround for them. So as Andrew mentioned in that little snippet there from that podcast episode, uh, I've done in the Rails console what he mentioned. I grabbed the first user record from this Rails app that I'm in right here, saved it all to a variable. And then you can actually do uh, what he is talking about, uh, uh, that feature in Pry. You can do that here in IRB. So previously, you could do this by just simply typing IRB again while already inside of an IRB session here and then passing it an object. And it would change uh, into a new context uh, of that object. That command and behavior is actually now deprecated or that command that way of doing it's deprecated now and instead there's a new way that they are encouraging you to do that and so the first thing i'll show here is actually if you type show cmds and hit enter on that you'll get a list of all the available commands here in irb and one of those commands is this chws command right here uh, which is like change workspace i believe is short for and if we read the description of this command you can see that it says change the current workspace to an object. Okay, so this sounds uh, very much like what Andrew was doing in the past with the prize. So let's give it a try here. So I'll quit out of this and then I'll say chws and then I'll pass it this user object. And if I hit enter on that um, and we look at our IRB prompt here, you can see now inside these parentheses here, we have this um, user instance um, being uh, displayed right here, whereas before uh, we got main, right? So now I'm going to switch terminal tabs here and show you that uh, here's the model file for the user uh, class here. And you can see we have this private method for secret code, uh, which just returns the string of 8675309. Um, now that we are in the context of that object now, if we hop back over to our Rails console here, if we were to type secret code here, you can see it's already starting to um, uh, pop up as, you know, uh, an option for us to call our, this method here. So if we go ahead and select it and hit enter on that, you can see now we get back the string 8675309. So this is how you can do um, in IRB now or your Rails console uh, exactly the behavior from Pry that Andrew was speaking of. So if you're interested in learning more about this, go check out the IRB um, repository on GitHub. There's a lot of great information here on how to use some of these new features that they've been working on. Uh, you know, go tell the people that work on this, maintainers, go tell them thank you and that you appreciate them, uh, one of which is Stan Lowe here. Uh, go follow him for sure. He's always uh, posting things about, um, you know, the, uh, some of the latest stuff they're working on on IRB and the Ruby Debug Gem. Uh, so, yeah, with that, uh, I hope you found uh, this lesson informative and learned a new little trick that you can leverage and help your uh, debugging skills uh, improve. 
So until next time, see you later.